Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be doing a little review on a new product I really wanted to try and I figured I would try it with you guys. So it is the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Breakout Full Coverage Treatment Concealer. It is definitely for oily skin so already it's an A plus for me. And it's supposed to help blemishes and acne. So yeah, let's just dive right in. Here is the packaging. So I know it's a concealer, but I really want to try and make this a foundation. Um, my natural makeup routine, which you can find in my YouTube channel, is Maybelline Fit Me Makeup Foundation. And I realized me wanting to get the natural makeup effect, it's not going to work by using that kind of foundation. So I really want to try to find a nice BB or a CC cream. So when I saw this advertised on Alta's website, I figured it'd be worth a try. So I'm basically doing a mini makeup tutorial for you, but it's my first time doing it as well. So I am just going to start off with my Urban Decay B6 Vitamin Infused Complexion Priming Spray. Now this is makeup that I will do if I don't feel like doing a whole face of makeup, if I'm just having a nice summer day with some friends and I don't want to be full glam. Uh, I've been trying to focus on natural beauty and I know I still love doing the full glam makeup side of it but being able to still love yourself and have just a natural makeup look is always fun as well. But yeah, while this dries I will talk about what shade I chose. I'm medium tan. I am tanning right now in a tanning bed, so I really just wanted this to match me once I keep getting tanner. So I feel like medium tan was a good in-between shade. For my primer, I am still going to go in with my NARS Pour and Shine Control Primer. Since I'm not going to be using translucent powders for my oily skin, it's really important to give my skin a nice primed face before I apply any foundation, CC cream, or anything. I think if I was using more of a BB cream, honestly, I'd probably just throw it on my face because I don't care. <laughs> but it is important to make sure your face is nice and primed. So here's the little bottle. You guys are gonna laugh at me. This is it. It's supposed to go all over my face. <laughs> I am gonna treat this I'm just get my makeup brush out of this bag. I got it. Okay. Um, this is definitely going to be a sheer coverage thing because this is a concealer. So, um, this is the tube. It's kind of like how Tarte Shape Tape is. Comes in that type of a bottle. So yeah, I'm just going to start applying this, kind of like all over my skin, like so. I guess I don't know how fast this thing dries, so I'm hoping not too fast. Okay. I'm going in with my Japanese brush 705. It's just a BB cream brush. And I'm just swirling that in to my face. And honestly, this is a really good shade right now that I'm at. Which makes me happy because now I can wear it now as well. Okay, well, so far I'm liking it. And honestly, you guys saw how much I put on. I didn't put on that much. Which is nice. Because having this be such a small bottle, I was really worried. <laughs> if it was even worth it, if I should just get a BB cream. But I liked how this was for oily skin and it helped with acne and blemishes because honestly that's, right now it's kind of one of my biggest things since the weather's so dry. I definitely get more acne prone during this time of year, especially like around my nose and my forehead. Just gets a bit more red. So I'm glad this is even more full coverage than I thought as well. But no. Honestly, I think I like this better than the Maybelline Fit Me. Mostly just because of the benefits 
I don't have to worry about me having a natural makeup day, but then what's the point? Because either way, I'm putting foundation on my face. So yeah, I'm really happy how this turned out. I love the color, like the shade. The girl who helped me at Ulta, she's like, well, this is a concealer. I hope you know that. And I'm like, I understand, but the benefits it comes with. Like, it cosmetics, you need to come in with like a BB cream that does this. Because I know they have a BB cream for lines, blemishes, things like that. But it doesn't have the same formula that this has because it's for oily skin. And it's specifically for acne and blemishes for people who have oily skin. They're for me. So... Yeah, I'm really excited to wear this tonight. Me and my friends are getting together, having a movie night, so I'm excited to see how it lasts. But to finish off, I'm gonna do the NYX Bright Idea Illuminating Stick. It is in the shade Pinky Dust. I apply it to the apples of my cheeks. I'm just gonna pat that in, give me some nice color. I'm going to do my lips really quick just because they feel dry. I'm going to go in with the Sugar Nude Fresh F21C. It's a nice Sugar Nude lipstick. You can open it. Okay, I literally can't open this right now. Okay, we're gonna skip that step for now because I'm having some trouble. Okay, next I'm gonna do my eyebrows. I learned when I'm doing more of a natural face, I like to go in with my Anastasia Clear Brow Gel first. So I'm just brushing all those hairs upward. Okay, I'm just gonna let that dry for a little bit. So now that this is dry, I'm going in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz Pencil. I'm in the shade Ebony. When I do my eyebrows, when I have a natural face of makeup on, I really try not to make it perfect. So I just start by making natural brush strokes where my hairs are. I do give myself a little more of a tail. And then I do go in and just create that line at the bottom just so it's not you know too messy but then that's it like it's it's so quick when I do my actual eyebrows it actually takes me quite a bit of time but okay I'm just gonna lightly brush those up just so it's nice and even. I'm still trying to open up this chapstick. Man. Oh, by the way, I'm curling my lashes quick. Sorry. Forgot to tell you guys what I'm doing. I'm going to go in with my Benefit Roller Lash Mascara. I love this stuff. Get it if you don't have it. And now when I do my natural mascara, I lightly start at the root and just like kind of quickly go up. I really don't want this to be full coverage. Full coverage. I really don't want it to be very like clumpy. So I do want it to be nice and clean. And then I do the same for my bottom lashes. Okay, I can't open this. I'm gonna be right back, okay? And have someone help me open this. I'm back! <sighs> My mom helped me. I could not get it open. She got it. I know you guys have seen me use this before. I swear by it, because it's like tinted. Now it's just a tad dark for me. You know, you know me, I'm all about those concealer lips. So I'm just going to tap it in. 
And yeah, this is it. I'm gonna set my face with my Urban Decay D Slick Makeup Setting Spray. Oil Control. Such a long name. This is it. I will zoom you in just so you can kind of see what my skin looks like. I got you. Don't wanna show. Oh, oh. Show us off. But show my heart. All that I need. Trying to sugar coat. Okay guys, so I am so glad I got to review this with you. I definitely give this IT Cosmetics concealer a thumbs up. And just know that if you want to use this as a foundation, you totally can. Because, I mean, I just did. But yeah, I love it. It's an A plus for me. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, comment below, and subscribe. And hit that notification button. And I'll see you guys soon. Say no sugar, cold, or love.